Deputy MacDonald. Well, Taoiseach, let us agree that something went catastrophically wrong in respect of mica and pyrite. Catastrophically wrong with these uh, blocks that were used to construct these homes. And let's also agree that those responsible for these catastrophic wrongs have to be identified and have to be held to account. I have no argument with you, and the people of Donegal and Mayo and Clare have no argument with you on that score. You have called this a scandal. You have said it is appalling, and you're correct on both counts. You have said that you will enter into a time-bound process to put things to right. Um, and I welcome that because we need to be timely and efficient. But what we also need to hear from you as head of government is that the scheme that will be landed on will represent, in reality, 100% redress. The last scheme may have been introduced in good faith, faith Faith Taoiseach, but the truth is that that scheme has not worked. That scheme has left these families in misery, living this nightmare day after day, night after you, night, Deputy. and that must stop. We know that the only sustainable, viable redress is 100% redress, so I want to invite you again to clearly state that the government will pursue and deliver in a timely fashion a scheme that is 100% redress. Yeah. The people gathered Time on the streets now, of Deputy, Dublin please. want to hear the Taoiseach yes. confirm well, that. Can you okay, confirm well, well, it we'll for them, the please, answer, then, and they can hear him. First of all, say, you know, as I said earlier, motions and slogans won't solve this. And I had a very good meeting with the Mike Action Group last Thursday. As, as a result of that, I contacted the minister again. I said, let's put in place a process here, because 100% of what? It's, it's not as simple as uh, asserted. And that came up in the conversations. There's a whole range of issues we've got to discuss um, in, in, in terms of uh, the, the, the grant caps themselves, in terms of the um, allowable costs, engineering costs, upfront costs, uh, how we can make it easier um, for, for the homeowners uh, in this context. And that's what we want to do. Uh, and, and, that's, and that is why uh, the minister has corresponded with the group. He has spoken to them. He is anxious to get this up and running uh, as quickly as quickly as possible. Also consult with the Mike Action Group uh, in, in, in terms of, of, of their I issues and so Taoiseach. on. And I would make the point Are you um, that it was, entered, it was entered in good faith. Your own deputy welcomed it at the time, Are you as did everybody else. And the government redress? is absolutely committed to doing the right thing and will provide and is going to provide exceptional redress. resources to make sure that we can make these houses livable again for the families uh, you, involved in, in, a, in, in a way that in, ensures that the kind of impacts that have been suggested, and obviously as to working through of the scheme has created a lot of issues and people have raised these. The submission was made to Minister Darbine at the end of April, and he's responding um, to, to, to the that. The time now. is up now. Can, can uh, Carl, I want to object to the Taoiseach studiously refusing to answer a very straightforward question. Taoiseach, very straightforward question for a 100% redress scheme. Please answer. I've answered the question now, in fairness to the Deputy. No, you have not, Taoiseach, and that is very worrying. With respect, Young, I, I, I didn't, this is unprecedented, this kind of interventions at leaders. All I'll make the point is I'm not exploiting this for political reasons. The deputy seems to want to exploit every issue okay. for political advancement. Yeah, well, I'm saying I want to get this resolved on behalf of the residents.